and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Crawling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, we are taking on Clement and his electric gym after we finish clearing out his dumb quiz show thing. If you'd missed the last episode, uh, Juge, the mighty, oh, pff, the mighty Go-Goat has been on a killing spree. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one is pan poor. Not entirely sure though, actually. Um, doesn't matter because I'm trying to fight all of them anyway. So, uh, I'm gonna say no. I don't want it to be pan poor. I think I'm sure it's not pan seer. So let's fight you. Ha <laughs> ha. So our strategy, as ever, is going to just be to bulldoze them. Electrode. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is very scary. Uh, the big problem with Electrode is, of course, that it can use Explode, and I really don't want it to use Explode. So, <laughs> mm, I don't like this one bit. We're gonna switch to Fatterhorn, who is more likely to survive such a dumb move. Um, hmm. What a sneaky attack. It would not put it past them to do that. Charge beam. Okay, this is going to do nothing. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. Heal it up. Oh, your special attack rose. I don't like that in case you explode a rose. Oh, man. Okay. I'm not too super duper worried about... Oh, gosh. Electro ball. Get it? Because he's a ball. Wow. That did so much damage. Body slam. Kill him dead. Oh, that was a crit. Ugh, we're paralyzed. Everything is the worst, except for leftovers. Man, immediately. An interesting episode, immediately. All right, we're just gonna body slam you again. Electro ball. This did way more damage than I would have expected. Why is it doing so much damage? Okay, we got him. Oh, goodness. Huh. Stressful right out of the gate. Not Fatterhorn, my goodness. Mmm, Ace Trainer Maxim, you sneaky, sneaky Ace Trainer dude. All right, step into the elevator. It's not right. Yeah, afraid not, afraid not. All right, that being said, in the last episode, someone gave us a bunch of four restores. So we're just gonna use that. And we're right as rain, all right. It has been raining so much here recently, BT dubs. Not that it matters to you guys. Um, yeah. Is it Pan Sage? We'll find out in a minute. Mavis, Lantern. Huh, okay, well. No big whoop here, I guess. Seed bomb. You think you can sneak a water type against me? I'm afraid that will do no good when I'm grassing all over you. Yeah, oh, what is this? What is this? Two in a row with the just hanging on by a little. I don't like it. I don't like. Seed bomb. So the other thing, well, I was going to say, one of the things I often do if I'm coming against one of these like double teamer, evasive, stupid butts is to try and leech seed them right away because then they're just, it doesn't matter. They're going down eventually. We can, we can wait them out. Um, but again, I don't even think that's a smart move with Juge against the Emolga. I don't, I don't even know whatever else he has. I'm not concerned except for the Emolga. <laughs> What a strange trainer you are. It was an honor to be able to battle you. Yes. Why am I strange? Because I have a goat. Are you judging Juge? Are you juging Juge? How dare you? Are we right? There's a possibility we are. Ah, uh, we're not. It's indeed Pan Poor, as I expected. Oh, hi. It's early where I am. It's 625. I'm up early recording for you guys. Woo! I pretty much always am, though. So, but we got to get lots of recordings in because we're going to be out of town next week. So, anyway, 
Doesn't matter. Juge has got this. We had an Ampharos once, I think. Yes? Oh, embarrassing. He made a big impression. Actually, it'd be great if we had an Ampharos now because Ampharos is one of the types of Pokemon that can mega evolve. Oh, confuse Ray. You're trying to confuse the Juge? You wouldn't. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think it had some bulk. Look at that. It's going to take three hits off our mighty bulldoze. And we're confused, which I hate. Mm hmm. Use the bulldoze. Oh, no. Power gem. What a rock type move. Mm hmm. This is going swimmingly. We're going to switch to fats here because I don't like being confused. Not one bit. Nope. And he's just going to body slam this dumb giraffe thing. And that's going to be it. Power gem. I don't think so. Going to heal that off. Oh, that was a crit. That was as good as you could hope for, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Have I introduced you to my friend body slam, though? Uh, it hurts. Oh, you confuse raid. Okay. Not a bad move. Not a bad move to take down the old Fatterhorn here. Not that you're going to take him down. And he's just going to body slam you. Oh, oh, I blame it on the yellow stripes over there. The yellow, I feel like they're very confusing to look at. Normally, the team is so good at handling confusion. <sighs> this is what happens in a post axe team. Oh, another electro ball. Ah, oh, three in a row on the confusion hits now. Great, great. Everyone's losing focus. Body slam. Electro Ball, I wonder how it determines its damage. I swear. Oh my gosh, four in a row? Is this insane? Like, we'd be down at seven health if it weren't for our leftovers. Maybe not. I don't know. How many times have we I don't know. No, we wouldn't. I'm sorry. It'd be low. Well, we're just going to heal. My goodness. We're certainly not going to die. The Sampharos is giving us quite a run here with its dumb confuse rays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bring it on, bro. You got nothing. I'm going to break confusion right now and body slam you, and that's going to be the end of it. Watch your milk, you're paralyzed. Oh my gosh. This is so annoying. I hate this. <laughs> Should we switch? Gosh. Should we just go back to Juge now? No, Ju look how much damage Juge has taken. Gosh, this thing is so annoying. You got this. You got this, Fatterhorn. Focus, focus in, snapped, body slam, boom, one shot, one kill, Ampharos is a dumb giraffe, it's still alive, oh my gosh. Here we go, come on. Boy, Confuse Ray is going to be the title of this episode. You can break it, you can hit it. Confused, use body slam, yes. You did it, Fatterhorn. You did it. I had every faith in you. Every confidence. My gosh, that was a nerve-wracking fight. That's the thing, like, there's always weird ways that they can sneak up on you and still be threatening. Roll out? Hmm. I don't think... I think we're going to keep our old moves. But, yeah. We're not going to use roll out. Although, roll out would have been a rock-type move that we could have used against the Emolga. Too late. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we could have gotten rid of rest. I haven't used rest at all. I feel like, I don't know. I remember once upon a time with old old Twig back in the, uh, the original Nuzlocke. I used rest a lot, but I don't know. I haven't used it much now. This is kind of like Yawn. Like I always, like I anticipate using, using it a lot, but then I don't. And sometimes you just have to be honest. Are you using it or are you not? Haven't used it yet, so. I don't know. 
it would have been good for like that sort of situation if we weren't confused because we do i don't know you can get because you can get rid of status ailments which is the nice thing there's another round of this ah this gym is forever especially when you're trying to get stuff wrong uh-huh oh i see there's three Okay, and that's a Motham and the Vivalon, and a, the Vivalon is two. So we're going to not do that one first. Also, first, we got to go freaking just wherever. Wait, you just go do the thing there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then we're going to go here and do the heal thing there. And there we go. All right. Super duper. Juge, you're feeling great. So we don't want to talk to you. We want to talk to you. My goodness. In my mind, I was like, man, this is going to be a really short episode if all we do is get to Clement and fight him. But now it might be just a regular full-length episode by the time we get there. I didn't realize we had a thousand more rooms to go through. Juju got this. Punch this little thing right in its dumb face. Give it the old bulldozery. Yeah, you can't copycat when I haven't done anything. Home slice. And now you're dead, so. Bye-bye. Oh boy, look at this. This is, I mean, Juju's just the total star of this gym. Him and Fats here getting some time to work together too. I love it, I love it. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All wrong. <laughs> look at the floor lights up like this. Uh, this whole gym is so indicative of the Kalos region where they obviously are just raking it in everything here is indulgent and huge and expensive it's the exact opposite of the kanto region which is like gen one where everything is like bare bones but they like train a lot harder like the emphasis is on the training whereas here every all the emphasis is on like bells and whistles and stuff like when you fight the elite four here god you wait till we get there they're like sitting in throne rooms like i can't even the it's outrageous where they're sitting. It's so lavish and they suck. Like <laughs> they're not that good. Famous last words. But I think in general, they're like the agreed upon worst elite four of any other game. Uh, so we'll, we'll just see, we'll just see. Meanwhile, I feel like if you go to Kanto, the elite four like battle rooms are just like, yeah, there's some rocks here. Yeah, there's a pool, whatever. Uh, but the trainers then are insanely good as far as, you know, the computer trainers go. Yes. Wow. You're seriously going to pick number two? What are you trying to psych me out? I don't know if you've been paying attention, but you're the only one left and I already called it. So I don't know why you didn't hear me say that. Plusle. Hey, they had a Pikachu with a Plusle and a mine and I see what's happening. Here we go. Bulldoze. So anyway, obviously this is a region that cares about stuff looking good. Which is sort of the whole Team Flare thing though, I guess, right? Like everything's got to be beautiful. So, at least they're consistent within their own internal logic. Oh, you're so dead, you didn't even give them a full potion. What a mistake. Plus Soul is dead. And Juge is skyrocketing up to level 38! Oh my gosh, what a powerhouse. What a mighty goat. This is exactly what we wanted. Exactly. <sighs> if there's another round of this, I'm gonna be mad. We did it! Hoorah! Yep, that's Vivalon, all right. Ding, 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 you're correct. It's the most boring looking Vivalon though. Oh, for, yes, we made it. No, I don't want, no, cancel. We're here, we're here. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is that we do not have that many uh, potions or anything. We're gonna do that just in case. Okay, strategy, as it were. Um, obviously we're going to send out Juge and Juge is just going to bulldoze everything. But I am like, I'm all but 100% positive that he has got 
a Emolga, which is going to be a problem for Juge because he can like aerial ace it and do all the stupid annoying things that Emolgas do. Um, the issue is then who do we use to take it down? Um, probably not Xylia. Let's go to our actual Pokemon screen. Uh, really, it's probably just not Xylia, but honestly, it's not like anyone else just can't take it down. Like, Lucasander's probably the best to do it just because of ancient power, but I have every confidence in Chloe Yo, even Goyren, obviously Fatterhorn, who could take so many hits. Um, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. I don't know if he sends it out first or not. If he does, I'd rather just lead with Lucasander and throw it out there right away. But if he doesn't, then I want to send out Juge. So we're going to lean on that. Juge has been the star. Here we go. What up? Here's the fight. <gasps> oh, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, this is a gym leader. Yes, thank you. The little girl is obviously way better than this guy. How many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here. Yeah, that's the attitude that makes you the worst elite forever. <coughs> they don't think that in Kanto. <coughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gym battle. It's on, dude. It is on, leader Clement. Oh, there's the Emolga right out of the gate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is he going to go for the Thunder Wave or the Double Team right out of the gate, though? We're going to go for the Switch right out of the gate. Mm-hmm. He's probably going to go for the Aerial Ace because he thinks that's what we were... thinks we're all grassy. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't see that coming. Honestly, flying is weak to these things, too. Maybe we should just straight up Avalanche it instead of Ancient Powering. Because we're going to go second. That's for sure. Right? Let's just do a quick summary check on the way these things work. So we use the correct thing. Oh, whoops. Check moves. That's what we're going for. So attack that. inflicts double the damage if the user's been hurt by the target. So I bet he doesn't. I bet he double teams. So I actually don't think that's what's going to happen. That is Raymond Parker. 65, 60. Mm -hmm. This is what? Special. Special. So, really, Aurora Beam might be the better thing to do. And it'll slow it down. Alright, well, whatever. As long as we kill it, I don't care. Aurora Beam! Volt Switch. Oh, he's switching! <gasps> That's Sneaky Sneakerson! What have you got? What have you got for us? Magneton. They're all gonna have Volt Switch. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay. Well, now we have a problem. Yes, we do. All right, here we go, though. If he's gonna keep Volt Switching, hmm, what do you do it again? Mirror Shot. See, now, interestingly, God, if he Volt switches to the Emolga, we will miss it with Bulldoze, and we'll have to switch. If we Leech Seed, we can... I don't know if we're faster. If we're faster, the Bulldoze will knock out the Magneton anyway. And I bet we are faster, because Magneton's not very fast. Okay, let's bank on that. Yeah. Because I was thinking like, oh, but if we use the Leech Seed, then we hit the Magneton, and then he Volt Switches, then it'll do nothing. Now let's get back to a Mulga, though. Okay. Classic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he's definitely going to Aerial Ace. We know that. Which didn't do much damage. But it did... Um, well, it did... The Aerial Ace, the Volt Switch did a lot of damage to Lucasator, though. So we have that to contend with now. It's definitely going to Aerial Ace. So let's just switch to Fatterhorn here. Mmm, Volt Switch. Very sneaky. Yeah, that's nothing. We laugh it off. We leftovers. Everything is great. Boom. Take that 10 HP back. And now... Is he going to Volt Switch again? 
That's the question. Or is he going to go for the straight up some other attack? Should we power up punch or just go for the... Let's go for the body slam because then we can paralyze. If we can slow him down, that's the other key. Mm-hmm. There we go. Boom. Paralysis. Let's see it. Oh! Or death. Never mind. Another form of paralysis. There we go. There we go. Heliolisk. Oh, what is this thing? Hmm. Mm-hmm. How very Gen 6 of you. Okay. All right. I wasn't concerned about you at all. Although now I think it could probably use Aerial Ace too. Hmm. Grass Knot? Sneaky. I guess they're anticipating you using some sort of ground type Pokemon. That was, it's weird that he would have Grass Knot when that was the signature move of the last gym we were in. Like, come on now. You already used this trick. I think you're dead anyway, though. Yeah. Unless I trip extremely hard, which I did not. You are about to be body slammed. That's it. We did it. Gym battle over. Ba -da -da -da. Leader Clement. Yeah. See, do you still think strength doesn't matter? Friend, I don't feel like that's a good attitude for a gym leader. Your passion for battle inspires me. Jonathan received 5,920 poker bucks. <laughs> but brother, you lost? Oh, whoa, body. What will you learn? There's no shame in losing. Yes, there is. You're a gym leader. It's your job to win. I'm glad whenever I get a chance to learn something new, thanks to strong challengers like this boy here. What are you calling boy? What are you, like, three feet tall, bro? Come on now. Anyway. Yay! Pretty! Oh, Thunderbolt. Yay! Man, I hope someone can use Thunderbolt. It's like one of my favorite moves ever. Okay, okay, all right, yep, very fun. Woo, we did it, go team. Man, Batterhorn, Whew. he's so strong, he's so strong. What would we do without him? My goodness. No, I don't know, I don't know. The game would be, oh gosh, I can't imagine losing Fatterhorn. Hollow Clip, oh boy, who is it? Oh, hello, Professor Sycamore. Hello there, I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to the Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center, right by Prism Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Hop in a taxi if you can't find it. Yeah, the game's like, we know this city's confusing and laid out poorly, so. This doesn't look evil at all, by the way. I love this red paint job. It goes really well with your orange hair. No clashing whatsoever. I was just having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I, too, would like to be able to use. Yeah. Sycamore. Evil. Actually, Lysander himself is of royal ancestry. Is truly a chosen one. Mm, yes, that's right. I am the chosen one. I am descendant of the king's younger brother. What king? That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. I would agree with that. Do you know where the Holocaster is made? Nope. Oh, really? Well, I don't care either. Wow, dude, you really gotta get... I'm not, I'm not sure if I judge your judgment of character very well. Like, I'm glad you see a lot of potential in me, but um, maybe I'm not glad you see that, because this guy... So obviously bad. I want to be the kind of person who gives, but in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. Their filth! <laughs> long, long ago, the king of Kalos sought to take everything for his own, and he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is the legend that has been passed down. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of people in Pokemon do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the day one before. Everything has to say exactly the same. Didn't manage to wash the world clean of the air is filth. Okay, the King's Rock. Okay, cool. Thanks for that item. Thank you for listening. Take that as an apology for taking up your time. Yeah. 
Apology not accepted. That was a waste of time. I can't even use this. I don't know. Wait. King's Rock does what? Makes stuff evolve, I think. Certain things. Cedra evolve into Kingdra, I'm pretty sure. That's the main use for it. I guess if you have a Kingdra, you're set to fight him later. That being said, it says is, is one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. Jonathan, what's truly important is the time you spend together with others. Treasure these moments. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. I did not treasure any of those moments. Do you guys have free stuff? Okay. Welcome to Lysander Cafe. Our paint job makes everyone insane. Red suited saviors of the world. I don't know if they really, they're more like orange. Just about there. All right. Hollow clip uh, from who? Jeebs. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hello, how have you been? I just wanted to let you know we're all going to beat our Route 14. Please come join us. All right, thanks. See you there, buds. Okay, dokie. First of all, apparently this is near Pokemon Center. Aha! Ah, not off of a main street or anything. Magenta Plaza, oh my gosh. Yes, please heal me. All right, here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to go to Route 14 now that we finally got through with the worst section of the game of all time. <clears throat> and then we're going to catch something. That's the plan. And that, oh, look, this is Route 13. So the odds of me guessing the correct direction that the number 14 is in feel really low. In my mind, counting goes from left to right. And I think we chose the right direction. Yes, we did it. Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. Okay, here we go. Yes, they are weird places. All right, great. Thank you, Power Plant Man. Now I'm going to have to talk to all these. Uh, La Vere Nature Trail. You arrived very quickly. Yeah, well, I got held up at a cafe. It was a whole thing. Oh, hi, Big J. We're just comparing how complete our Pokedex is car. I would, of course. The hup, the hup, the hup. All right. You lost? Yeah, I've seen a Gible. That's right. Oh, no. What? Oh, butts. I did not realize this is a rival fight. Oh, God, I'm so glad we went to the Pokemon Center. Oh, Serena. Hi, what's up? Okay, Meowstic. Cool. What's up? Hi, I have one of those. It's our team leader. Is it your team leader? Okay, okay. Everyone just chill for a second. Um, should we fight? We're higher level. We could probably do some big damage to this thing. Could probably take it down. But it could hit us hard too. Uh, how terrible it would it be if Juge, hero of the last gym, immediately lost to this dumb meow stick. It would be bad. Seed bomb! Light screen? How dare you. It's a waste of a move. Mm-hmm. We got you. We got you down now. Oh, you're trying to do emotional damage to me. I see the kind of cheap tactics you go for, Serena. Or should I call you... Wine gums? I keep forgetting which one's wine gums or which one's cauliflower. An Absol. I don't love this. Absol's very strong. It's a glass cannon, though. Must remember. Must remember the glass cannoniness of it. Juge, you can do this, my friend. I believe in you. You can do it. Seed bomb. Ha! Ah, nothing! You've got nothing! Look at this. Watch the juge stir take you down. That's right. All right. Seed bomb. Bite. Don't you flinch. Focus, juge. You've got this. Ba -ba 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 boom There it is. There it is. All right. Now she's going to bring in chestnut. I'm quite certain. Look at this. Juge is 39. Skyrocketing. Destroying. And chestnut. There it is. There's the big guns. Yep. Okay, that is a big gun, all right. Or it's a big shield, anyway. Here we go. Chloe, oh! Take him down. Although, oh wait. What if he has hammer arm? I've had this problem before. Oh. Uh, mmm. Bite? Okay. 
Oh, light screwed more off. Okay. God, I am genuinely concerned about the potential hammer arminess of this thing. Because that's a fighting type move, and it would be very... I know it learns it eventually. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> if it has that, we're going to be really in a bad position. Because it would definitely... Let's go fire fang here. Oh, that did like nothing. Okay. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. 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 Potion up. I have a plan. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to use work up. Because that will protect us from these bites, and it will make us stronger. Seed Bomb? Well, we're still a little more protected. Here's what else we're going to do. Noble Roar this thing. Weaken him. Weaken him. Very good. Yeah, you got nothing now. All right, so now that he's nice and afraid... And we're nice and worked up here. We're going to heal again. And then, man, I was not prepared for the surprise rival fight. Your seed bombs are wasted, you fool. Fire Fang. Oh! And the crit. Oh, she could have a potion, though. No berries. <laughs> Too unnerved for that. Ah, uh, avoided it! Are you kidding me? What a joke! Fire Fang. Hilarious. There you go. There you go. We got it. Boom. Chest not dead. Mm-hmm. There it is. Man, trying to spring a surprise fight on me, Serena. Jeez. Wine gums. Pretty sure you're winding up your cauliflower. Yeah, that sounds right. Well, that was a really intense battle. But you weren't here. You weren't here. Where's Tierney? <laughs> He's at the fighting dojo. Sorry, I'm late, everybody. I was having so much fun with the sparring dance. I totally lost track of time. Okay. All right. Let's go to the scary house. Oh, let's find out. I'm sure it's just a rumor. I want to spend my time with my Pokemon before leaving. See ya. All right. What a great friend. Mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> yep. You're just kind of goofing around. I'll say. Nah. You kind of are. All right. Well, on that note, um, I think the battle was a great way to end that episode. So... Uh, next time, we're definitely going to start out by catching a brand new Pokemon, of which I think one could be a Goomy, which is another dragon type we could potentially add to the team. Dun, dun, dun. Um, so make sure you leave a comment on this video so that possibly your name shall be chosen to uh, be the name of our next new Pokemon buddy friend who might go into the box, might join the team. Never know. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for liking this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes from us. And until next time, bye!